Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Dragon's Tomato series. So before I started this recording, I actually um, went around the castle trying to find ways um, to get inside to retrieve the um, to I mean to do some investigation. So I kind of like used the sorcerer skill to fly or float up and manage to climb to one of the windows, and that power trigger this um, cutscene. So. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but a M my lord. If someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently. Surely none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the Sovereign. Indeed. But that, Your Grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. Soldiers need to 
Well, well. Yours isn't a face I'm accustomed to seeing around the palace. How did you get in here? Oi! Who goes there? Who's there? Tut, tut. Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Vilhelmina. Mm-hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though... We had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But may I ask the name of your companion? Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. I don't appreciate having my motives questioned. I did as I saw fit. Need I say more? Still, you are welcome to come calling, should the fancy take you, and should you have the gold for it. Off you go now. If you wish to speak further, twill have to wait. This is neither the time nor the place for it. It seems you've made a discovery regarding the false sovereign. At last we've arrived. Delivery in hand. We need only pass our burden into the hands that await it. Right you are. Methinks this will be of interest to Captain Brandt. Shall we go inform him? If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. We have arrived. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. I know this sigil well. Tis the crest of the neighboring country of Batal, a land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. It reads, True to our word, we offer you the power of the Godsway. Pray make haste in securing Melv, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue, to be certain. Though, tis clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermund and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to seem our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it. And ere it slips my mind, pray, take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this Phasus fellow. But what precisely... As a reward for your majesty's efforts, you have been invited to attend the coronation. To it seem, congratulations are in order. You will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. 
I would ask that your majesty return once you've procured such attire. There is much we ought to attend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's or shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. Your majesty, that attire, it... It may be unsuitable. Tis a formal affair, you see. I apologize for my brusqueness. But is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Ah, yes. Regarding your pursuer from some days past, as we suspected, he was indeed an agent from Batal. When he learnt of your majesty's escape, he began inquiring after your movements. Tis a glad thing we captured him before matters escalated. As to how he learned your majesty's location with such ease, I intend to extract the answers from him anon. I shall be sure to inform you when I do. Pray. Take this. Tis the least I can offer for your majesty's assistance. So the agent was of Batal after all. Tis rather eerie that someone should be sent across the border to spy on you. There is much we ought to attend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's or shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to. Very well. Praying for- Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Ah. The masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry.
A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. All I've learned, I shall turn to your service, Arisen. It appears night has fallen while we slept. Shall we check our packs and be off? Feeling rested, I trust? Mayhap, this ladder is here for a reason. Ah, oh, excellent find. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few. We shall remain here. I cannot permit you to enter the Masquerade Hall in your current raiment. It is ill-suited to the occasion. Let's not be bothering me for no reason.
early for a rest of you. Quiet at last. The masquerade is already underway, sir. It will be a long night. Longer still for those of us on guard. Far from your station, are you not? I was bored out in the Skull Garden Palace. At least here I can listen to some courtly music. Makes the hours go by that much quicker, see? You ought not to abandon. Best to remain sober. Much to be done on the morrow. If you've naught to say, I'd best be going. You were posted in front of the passage yesterday, right? Next time, don't leave. Is there aught you require? I shan't let anything. Another fancy party hosted by the Arisen. You'd think he's feeling plenty merry by now. So, so tell me more of this fox cart. As I feared, it turned from a This one's the Jane Lantern. Surely you've heard tell of how he repelled the dragon in hell. Restrictions on goods traded with Matar. Apparently, even privately owned items. I pray someone asks me to dance, Air Lord. Well now, you're... What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scour the area. Well, scour what you like. In here. Open up! Dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive me. And what business 
have you here? In the nobles' playground. Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> oh. I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check, lest you forget these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. You need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall. And we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. Come see me in my bordelry, when e'er you're so inclined. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. Come see me in my board. I'll instruct my attendants to send you... My apologies for the wait. We grew further apart than I'd anticipated. 
Do take care not to stray so far next time. We have obtained a bunch of flowers, as Miss Daphne requested. Now we have but to deliver it to her. If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. Tis not for us to gain Savior Risen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. We've arrived, just as planned. Have you brought me a bunch of flowers already? Oh, just look at them. They're the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. <laughs> These should brighten the sisters' days. Say, would you mind terribly if I asked you another favor? See, one of my friends taught me a magic spell. It's supposed to let you meet whomever you like. All you have to do is find a silver stone, put it under your pillow, and say the magic words. But there's the problem. I've been looking all over for such a stone, and I can't find one anywhere. Would you find a silver stone and bring it to me, Arisen? For true. I knew I could count on you, Arisen. I'll be waiting. Our next mission is to acquire a silver stone. Mayhap silver ore will serve. We can purchase it, or mine it up ourselves. Right you are. It seems you have obtained information regarding the False Sovereign. Captain Brandt will be eager to hear of it, I'm sure. Methinks this will be of interest to Captain Brandt. Shall we go inform him? I believe I can guide you to the person in question. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Here we are. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes, even were he to be removed. I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there is aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. 
pray. Allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this Phasis fellow. But what precisely is their aim? That's odd. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. All shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, it is best you do so before we depart. Very well. Praying is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. As your pack becomes heavier, so too does your step. Perchance you ought to let a few things go. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it?
We cannot break it from this side. Really? Now? Pray, light your lantern, Master. I could swear I've seen what's needed here, amidst what we have in storage. <laughs> I expect this ore will suffice for the silver stone Miss Daphne requested. Let us deliver it to her now. I take it you've some business with this person. Then pray, follow me. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Thinks this can only be destroyed from the other side. I'm not altogether happy with this. It would seem we have what we need to hand. Might we not complete our delivery while we're here? We ought to make the delivery now. Lest it should end up lost or misplaced. Right you are. We've arrived, just as planned. Oh, I can't find a silver stone anywhere. Have you fared any better? Oh, just look how it shines. Thank you ever so much. Say, aren't you curious who I want to meet? Well, I'll tell you. My mother and father. I don't even know what they look like, you know. Not to say I'm unhappy at the gracious hand, of course. But I'd really like to meet them. Even I want to tell them how grateful I am that they gave me life. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh, hi, Arisen. You'll help me again if I need it, won't you? Please say yes. Miss Daphne seemed pleased with our efforts. 
Mayhap we ought to pay her another visit sometime soon. You have my support. <laughs>